special trigonometric ratios. Okay, in the picture we have an equilateral triangle and all the angles in an equilateral triangle are equal. And so they all would be 60 degrees. And also all the sides would be equal. So the big blue triangle is equilateral. The sides are all 2A long and the angles are all 60 degrees. Now you notice I've dropped an altitude down from the top down to the bottom. That's a line from the top perpendicular to the bottom. In an equilateral triangle that will divide the base in half. So I've got 2A has been split into A and A. And the top angle was split from 60 into 30 and 30. So from this equilateral triangle we were able to get a right triangle that has a 30, 60, 90 degree angle in it. So I'll separate that out of there. And so we now have a nice little right triangle and the only side that's missing is X. So we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find X. It would have been X squared plus A squared equals the quantity 2A squared. And then the next one would be x squared plus a squared equals 4a squared. Then subtracting a squared from both sides, we get x squared equals 3a squared. Taking the square root of both sides, we get that x equals a times the square root of 3. So now we have all three sides of our triangle in terms of a, and we have a 30 and 60 degree angle in them. So now we can find all six ratios for 60 degree angles. Sine of 60 is a times the square root of 3 over 2a and that reduces to the square root of 3 over 2. The cosine of 60 equals the opposite of the hypotenuse so that's a over 2a and that reduces to 1 half. The tangent of 60 is a square root of 3 over a and the a's cancel so we get the square root of 3. Now we could find the next two by just finding the reciprocals, but we won't. We'll use the basic definition. The cotangent of 60 is a over a times the square root of 3, which is 1 over the square root of 3. The secant of 60 is the hypotenuse over the adjacent. So that would be 2a over a, which is equal to 2. Now the cosecant of 60 degrees is 2a over a times the square root of 3 and that reduces to 2 divided by the square root of 3 which is 2 square root of 3 over 3. Now in the cosecant of 60 and the cotangent, one of them I rationalized the denominator and the other one I didn't. Uh, you should rationalize the denominators in both of them but it's not that important at this point. Now I went through these kind of fast so you should actually stop this and go through and see, could you find these six basic special trig ratios for 60 degrees? Now we're going to do the same thing with 30 degrees. So this would be good practice. Go through and see, can you find each one of these yourself? I have them listed here, but you should go through step by step and find each one. Note, these values will need to be memorized. To help you do this, we'll put these in a table at the end of this presentation. Special trigonometric ratios continued. So now we want to find a 45 degree angle. And we can find this in an isosceles right triangle. An isosceles triangle is a triangle that has two equal sides. And this picture would be A and A. And the angles have to be equal, so they've got to add up to 90. So they'll be 45 and 45. So we have our special triangle this time, a 45, 45, 90. Now how long is that bottom side? Well, we'll put an x there, and then we'll solve for x using the Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus a squared equals x squared. Collecting your a squareds together, you get 2a squared equals x squared. Taking the square root of both sides, we end up with a times the square root of 2 equals x. So that's what that third side is in terms of a. Now we're going to find all six trigonometric ratios for 45 degrees. 
the sine of 45, let's kind of review what the sine is again. It's the opposite over the hypotenuse. So it would be a over a times the square root of 2. And that simplifies down into 1 over the square root of 2. And if we rationalize the denominator by multiplying the numerator and the denominator by the square root of 2, we get the square root of 2 over 2. And then we repeat this process with the remaining five trigonometric ratios. It is important to remember that the 30-60-90 triangle came from an equilateral triangle and the 45-45-90 triangle is an isosceles right triangle. Some students remember this so they can reconstruct them to find the values they may forget. Now we're going to put them in our table so that we can more easily memorize them. The table of special trigonometric ratios from 0 degrees, 30, 45, 60, and 90. So we've got the degrees across the top. We could use radians, but since we're more familiar with degrees, I kind of like to put degrees there for now. And on the left column, we put sine, cosine, and tangent. Now we'll fill in our table. Okay, the sine of 0 is 0, and the sine of 90 is 1. And then the other ones I got from our list. The cosine of 0 is 1, and the cosine of 90 is 0. Just the opposite of what sine was. And then we got the other things from our list earlier. And the tangent of 0 is 0, and the tangent of 90 is undefined. And then we filled in the remaining three for the tangent of 30, the tangent of 45, and the tangent of 60. It is very important that you memorize this chart. If you do not memorize this chart, it will be very difficult to pass this class. An interesting pattern that may help you memorize this chart is that the sine and the cosine are just reversed. So if you go left to right on the sine, you go from 0 to 1 half, which is really the square root of 1 over 2, then you go to the square root of 2 over 2, and then you go to the square root of 3 over 2, and then you go to 1. And if you want to look at that pattern even in a better way, I mean, you might not need to, but let's start over again. The sine of 0 is the square root of 0 over 2, because that would be 0. The square root of 1 over 2, that would be a half. The square root of 2 over 2. The square root of 3 over 2. And the square root of 4 over 2. Because the square root of 4 over 2 would just turn out to be 1. So it actually goes right on up. The square root of 0, square root of 1, square root of 2, square root of 3, square root of 4. Each one of them divided by 2. Now if you go to the cosine, it's just the reverse of that. The square root of 0 over 0 for the 90. The square root of 1 over 2 for the 60. The square root of 2 over 2 for the 45. The square root of 3 over 2 for the 30. And the square root of 4 over 2 for the 1. And then the tangent is an increasing function. And it's 0, 1 over the square root of 3, 1 square root of 3 over 1, and then undefined. And I've illustrated this now uh, in step 2. Sine from 0 to 90, you can see it more clearly here.